back out again after the wind debacle of the last camp just could not be bothered it was one of them nights you know where you're just not in the mood both of us were like just can't be bothered with this it was a nightmare just couldn't get out of the wind seeing that it's another windy one like windy down here in the valley so I don't know what's coming up up in the um, up in the hills where I'm headed. So I'll turn you around. That's where I'm headed. Up there to walk around around the side of it and back up. And if it's too windy, there's no shelter, and it is too wild. I'm going to come back over. You can't see the ridge. There's a ridge which goes on over onto this side here. There might be a drop down point over there. Oh, but for now, it's uh, Tuesday after work. Got to fly from work. We're not busy, like, so I've got a, um, a late start job tomorrow. So it's all all the uh, planets have aligned, and I'm out Tuesday night. This is to make up for Saturday. So you'll have all seen that bailout video by now. Oh man, it was just horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Honestly, the ground was like this. See how it's, there's just no way to pitch. We're walking through the hills. We did six and a half mile looking for a pitch. The one place we did find that was flat was up the top of the hill. And the um, the wind was just whipping around, you know. It's coming around in like a whirlwind. Couldn't get out of it. It's all fronts like that. If it's directional, it's not so bad. I'm hoping this wind is directional. It seems to be at the minute. Yeah, but I thought that on the last one. But anyway, I'll not be bailing out. Because it's just me. I don't want to put others at risk. If you know what I mean. Plus, like I say, we just could not be bothered. <laughs> we just went home and had a, a night in the hoose. Listen to the radio. But here, the weather, I mean, it's dry, it's nice, it's clear. It's just the wind, it's back. Just have to live with it, hell with it. Well, we're a mile in. And where I need to be is up there, right? But look at the, um, it's all cliff faces. So I've got to go up there and then round that bit. And hopefully get up the back of it. So it's about, probably about two miles. Then like I say, if it's too wild, I'll come back down that path and then just across and then over there, see? <sighs> it just takes your breath like. It's not too bad walking, it's just walking right into the headwind. I hope it doesn't change direction, that's, a, that's the trick. If it stays blowing one way, I'll put the back of the tent to this, have the side door open, should be alright. Yeah, we'll see. I'm just expecting it to be really wild. It's, <laughs> it's blowy down here in the valley, it's going to be mad up there, like, probably end up coming down a bit. We'll see though, we'll see. Well, I've come right down in that valley all the way along. And I found a path going across. So this is where I need to be. Look. What's oh, that bright object? I don't know what it's blinding is what it is. That's a thing. But I this is the way. So I'm hoping. Oh, I'm hoping there's a bit of shelter. It's uh it's not too bad. Just a bit dusty, that's all. I'm gonna try trying the fire maker tent out again, you know, see see if I can cope with the wind. Did alright on the uh, first use. I'm hoping I can get it pitched better this time. It pitched probably like I had it in the garden. And then we'll see. See if it's any better. Oh <laughs> Come to bogs, right? Look for these, these tufty bits. 
nine times out of ten if you stand on them you'll be all right there is the odd one that'll sink under your weight like but normally you're okay oh this is a rough path mate god Ooh, look that right from back there right Woo, we'll come back at the top yes we will well I'm just about at the top sun going down behind the cheviot there I'm gonna lose it in a minute it's gonna turn chilly Cows, kind of a grouse, but sun's in my eyes. Here's the crags, anyway. I'm hoping behind the crags it's a bit flat and then I can get out of it because the wind's blowing the perfect way to get behind the crags. Like, we will find out in due time. For now, just gotta find somewhere. It's lovely when the wind stops, it just drops and it's really nice but then it comes back with a vengeance <laughs> so here we go anyway here we are the other side of the cracks oh. it's not flat I mean there's like possibility there there's a chance let's see what it's like if it flattens down just flatten these down, you know. Just stamp them down. This could be a goer. Right, I'm going to take my bag off and have a mooch. It's the sun going down anyway. Well, best of a bad job here. Like, I came down off the top and I thought it was out of the wind, but it's bloody not. Like, ugh, just give up. Give up. What a job getting my tent up was on a flipping gale it's just coming straight into it but it's up anyway it's not perfect this side this back is flat the other side's on a bit of a slope so I'll be sleeping in this side but this back end and I think I can open that door and cook in that porch because the winds coming that way and if you look the doors are on opposite sides that, that door's on there now, so the wind's just coming straight in. Whew. What a job! Anyway, oh, it's all right inside. It's lovely, calm, and no wind. Oh God, it's terrible. It's just absolutely horrible. The wind, like I hate it. I don't know if you can tell. I cannot stand the wind. It drives us insane. Look at the view though, looking down over into the valley. The sun's gone down like over there, behind the Cheviot, that's the Cheviot. It's a hedge hop. So I'm just stuck there. <laughs> what a place. Good picture that, mate. Now that I'm in the confines of the tent, I thought, let's have a look at this, I've got one of these, look. I think there's a few people had these lately. The new flex tail pump. So, you get an assortment of nozzles, right? I think that's the Thermarest one there. Oh, there's loads of different ones. So, one of them's bound to be right for you. Honestly, right, don't know what that is. It makes no sense. There's the sea charger. So this is the one for this mat, anyway. So you push it down, and you fit it over there like that. I think, right, I'll come back, I'll come back when I get it on. So you set it up like that, right? You put the nozzle on this end. Double click the P. The, this, the L is a light. I just happen to have a hanging. It's got different settings. Yeah, it's brightest. That's off. So you put it in. 
And then... Double click this. Quite loud like, but you know. It's only for 30 seconds or something. Not the end of the world, is it? Look how fast it's going up. Bloody hell. <laughs> I can't cope. Don't overinflate it. That's it. Oh my god. The on off needs to be a little bit more raised up there. But look at that. It's up in seconds. Bloody hell. That was mad. I'm going to over inflate it. Matt, because they separate the baffles. That ruins it. This is the, flex the light to a mat. This is the 7 hour rating one, the thick one. But, back to this. That's a powerful little pump that. It's light, you know. And what everybody was complaining about on the last one. It has a... It has a light. So you can... There you go. You can see how bright that is later. Got three settings. That's everything on. To the little bag, the flex tail. I need to know what that's for. Oh, it's got a little screw thread in the end of it. Oh, I know what it'll be for. Put it on a tripod, and there uh, you can have your light on a tripod. That's my guess. It deflates as well. So you just put the you put the nozzle on the other end, and it'll deflate it. Just press the just press the pump again. Same button. Deflates it. Good. I'll put a link in the description. I think there's a few of these knocking about on YouTube, and all super good reviews. Like, right. So I'm just getting set up. I'm gonna go out and check all these guy lines are all right again. This is flapping around annoyingly, so I'll close that. And I think I'll transfer it to this side. Um, let's just have a look what we've got then. We've got some Northern Monk Hazy Pale Ale. That's alcohol free, that. I'm still off the beer. Does it count, right? I'm off the beer for 23 days now. 23 days, no alcohol. This counts, doesn't it? So I can have a couple of them. I've had a few Guinness alcohol free, which is nice, by the way. And I've brought this, my, um, my patent lick, litter picker, just in case I find any rubbish lying about. See how it, um, it falls away, you know? It's like a gun in it. It's like that thing, um, oh man, what was it, Total Recall? Oh, I was trying to say. If I can edit that. This is like that gun off Total Recall. Now the one. Right, Arnold shoves it up his nose. Benny! Benny! Screw you! Pulls out that thing. <laughs> I saw that's the gun I've got litter picking. Gun. And it just falls out. Look, look at this, there's no weight in it. Get yourself one. And there's some bin bags somewhere to go with it. The bin bags from Morrison's. Just carry one of them and a litter gun. I'll do it on the way down. There's, there's very little litter in the Cheviots, I must admit, like. It's good for that. Right, I've got a ration pack tonight. Just something simple, pasta bolognese. I've got some chocolate orange cookies out of the ration pack. Lovely, I've nearly eaten all of them. I can have a cup of tea in a minute. Um, what else? Did I say I had heated gloves? These are doing, these are doing the world of good, like, because I had cold hands from mucking about with the tent. Oh, they're lovely. God, that's so nice. <laughs> it really is lovely. <laughs> a nice heated glove. Oh, 
brought plenty of water for the boil in the rat pack. I've got four cans of these with an I'll drink them. I'm not really, you know what? I'm not even missing the beer. I'm not even missing it. Emma, I'll tell you, I'm not even craving beer. The sleep system, right, is the Queezer summer bag. I'm questioning me um, sanity bringing that. But I've got the quilt to go over it. Flex tail pillow, still going strong. Mint that. Got a new one of them. Emma's got that. She'll see, you'll see that in her when she's out again. New flex tail pillow. There's also a torch. Flex tail have brought out a mini torch, right? And I've left it in the house. And it's tiny. It's like that. It's like the little zero pump. I don't know if you remember that. But by God, it's bright. I should have brought it. Should have brought it because I could need it now. All right, so it's ration packs and chocolate orange cookies. I'm actually going to put another layer on in a minute because it's getting cold. It's getting really chilly. The wind hasn't stopped. This tent, fire maple tent, could do with a zip up the top. A zip there, so like a two-way zip on the on the. Uh, has it got one? No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. So it could do with one. Um, that's about it, really. Let's come back when we're doing something more interesting. Here I am. Here I am. I'm going to have a nice cup of tea. Um, in my dangerous zone of doom. Eey, you booger. It's a dangerous zone of doom. I've got no choice. I've got to have the uh, door shut. The wind's just come straight in. So I've got to have the door shut for the, for the gas. Oh, these gloves, man. Go cosy gloves. And they really are as well. My life's changed. My hands were freezing off that um, guy in the tent. Oh, you know, I've got some knots in the guy lanes and oh, you know, when you're trying to un unravel the knots. And my hands got really cold. So I switched these on as I was setting everything up. And then when I got in, I put the gloves on. I was like, oh, so nice. Just so nice, that like. I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea. And then I'm gonna have one of these. Um, Holy Faith, it's called actually. Holy Faith. Holy Faith. Um, I'm just hoping I'm not burning the footprint. No, I'm not. Northern Monk, alcohol free. It's, it's good. I'm getting back. I'm going to go back on the beer leg, but I'm going to cut right down, right? I'm going to, um, I'm only going to bring a couple of cans on camps because I've, I've proved to myself basically that I don't need loads of beer. You don't. So I'm going to cut right back on the beer. Nothing through the week. Um, Depends if I go out Friday or Saturday. I mean, I'll be in the van one of them days, Friday or Saturday. So, you know, I'll just have a couple, just a couple. And you can have cups of tea and everything. Oh, that's boiled already. That was quick. Um, yeah, so you can have cups of tea, coffee, herbal tea. You can have anything you want, you know. Um, I had innocent smoothie the other day. That was lovely, that. Them ready-made ones are expensive, though. But I worked it out. If you buy the ingredients, it's probably about the same price. You make it yourself. So I so new healthy new healthy lifestyle. It's got to, it's got to change when I was drinking far too much, you know. I was drinking too much on these camps. So yeah, alcohol free. I'll, I'll try these, see what they like. Maybe bloody awful. I've got four cans, but I don't think I'll get through them. So yeah, that's boiled now. I'm just gonna make this. Cup of tea, and then afterwards I'll get on with that, and then I'll have that um, meal about seven-ish, half seven, something like that. I'm not really that hungry at the minute. There's a cosy little setup in here, and you know the light, the light's coming from this. It's mint. That is really good. Flex tail do some flipping good stuff, like innovative, isn't it? They're always coming up with new ideas. 
I really see the little torch. I'll use that on the next camp. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I had a cup of tea, warmed us up, but now, for some inexplicable reason, I got out. Cooled down again. Uh, just, it's eased off a little bit, but it's still, the gusts are coming through. That's the northern hemisphere. The north star is that way. The plough is there. I don't think you can make it out. Oh, it's chilly like. Well, I don't know how I'm going to survive the winter. I'm going to need some uh, undercrackers, some long johns, you know. The legs are a little bit chilly. Right, I'm going to get back in because this is nuts standing out here. I just got warmed up. Tent solid, like, look at that. Do you know it's really windy? And that's fine. It's just blown a little bit. It's not a bad design. Oh, I'll check the guy lanes as well. So that's what, another reason why I got out. <sighs> There's a bit of a gap there, but that's only because there's a delve. The rest of it's down to the ground, so that's not bad. That's right down to the floor. Good. Just wondering about condensation now, so got the vent open. Right, I'm getting back in. It's too cold. Hi. It's me. Hi. Well, I've had um, nothing to eat yet. I'm going to get something on shortly. I hope this light's picking it up here. That's the thing with this camera. It hasn't got the, um, the light on the top. The GoPro's better for that. This quilt, right? I've got this Queezer quilt wrapped around my feet. And it's keeping us lovely in it. Keep saying about this free stuff, right? Free stuff, and it's budget price. But I'll just get just on a bit of a slope. But if you look back at all my videos, right? I've used this Quasar bag the whole of the so-called summer, and I'm still using it tonight with the quilt. Now I'm gonna test it tonight. Like still using this through dark jacket. This is mint. This has kept me so warm, so comfortable in all the horrible weather we've had. Um, anyway, I'm going to try this. Ugh, this alcohol free Holy Faith, right? This is like the alcohol free version of Faith, you know, the Northern Monk Faith. So I've opened it. It says it's juicy and tropical, tastier than hell. Holy Faith is the alcoholic free version of our flag flying hazy pale ale of faith. And you know what George Michael said? Careless whisper. So I'm going to try it, right? I'm cheating because I've already had a drink. It's got a nice, um, a nice fruity smell. It's like, that is actually like the faith you get. The, the normal the alcohol faith It's about 5% or something. This is 0.05% alcohol, so there's just no... If you've got breathalyzer, you wouldn't... You'd pass the breathalyzer. Right, well... That's not nice. That tastes... That tastes of... If you get... If you get a handkerchief right and you dip it in you dip it in Vaseline and mess mix it up put it in a river for a week right set fire to it gather the ashes up put it into the freezer freeze the ashes take it out after a month pass it through a muslin cloth so I've just got the liquid, like squeeze it out. You're getting close to that. I taste like chimney sweeps. Blah. I'm not a fan of that, like. I might get back on the beer. That's enough to turn you to drink that. It's not bad. The real taste is like watered down faith. <laughs> 
you can you can taste that like uh, it is it's like watered down you know if you've got normal faith and you put water in it that's what you'd get it's not pleasant I like it I think I'll stick with the um I think I'll go back to the alcohol free Guinness at least that was like Guinness anyway that's that's the review of the alcohol free faith so we're just sitting here, like I say, keeping warm. I've got this wrapped around us. The gloves on. Heated gloves. I might regret bringing this because this is really a summer bag, and this is a three-season inner. Fire maple said, considering a four-season inner for it, so that might come. I think with a few little fine tune and tweaks, it could be good. Like I say, a top a zip that comes down like a two-way zip on both sides. Because like, if it's raining, you don't want to pull the zip up from the bottom, do you? You want to pull it down from the top so you can have a look out. Um, a bigger footprint covering both porches. I've told them all this, and uh, probably probably better guy lines than what's on. Because they're black, them guy lines. They have got fluorescent bits in them. But if it's during the day, you can't really see them. I've tripped over them a few times. This flex tail light is mint as well. This is really good. I'm enjoying this. How bright it is. It's lighting up the whole tent. That's just on the one setting. Pump and light. It took us a little while to work out how the pump worked, but once I got the hang of it, it was all right. So, yep. So, oh, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to chill out with the radio and me watered down faith. I've got a few cans with Adam now, so I'll drink all them, like, I might have one more. And then I'm going to get my ration pack on. <laughs> Pasta bolognese. Ration packs. Got flipping loads of stuff in the house. Right. So see the uh, the joint there, right? Take a clip. Unclip it. It comes apart. Doing it with two hands, it'd be easier. There you go. Can't reach me head torch. Can't reach me ration pack. Some weight in them ration packs, so that picks up quite a decent weight. It's got magnet on it as well. Cans. I'll not pick up a full can, like. But yeah, there you go. Make litter picking fun. It also pulls out and swivels around, so that pulls out and it turns around. So grab that way. Does both. Just thought that uh, you know make litter picking fun fun for all the family if I see anything I'll pick it up no I wasn't going to pick tissues up at first but this is why I got this because now I can pick tissues up and you just put them in the bag you know here's the bag just put them in your rubbish bag it's easy man it's easy yeah, it's just me preaching if one person listens, right, and does that, I'll be happy. This is how we, uh, this is how we do it. That's how you put the ration pack in. So you push it all in. Water about just over halfway, so it doesn't overflow, you know, so it doesn't bubble over. Keep an eye on it, though, because once it starts boiling, you've got to turn it down. And just flip the flip the handle over it keeps the lid down it's good um 
it's actually perfect for rat packs that like and this is kicking out some nice heat as well I've checked it's not bothering the floor it's not melting the floor or anything these look these are cold to the touch cold so overall good design that um yeah just gonna have that ration pack I'm on my second car in Right, well, oop, the ration pack is done. I'm gonna try it live and direct, right? It's a bit hot. Oh, it's really hot. Tell you what it is, I'm joining the army. It's lovely. That's really tasty. I don't know where the lens is. Of course, just drop it out of the floor. Right, I'm going to get this. And then I'm going to just cinch in. It's a lovely starry night outside. I don't know if I'll get any starry shots or clouds coming. So, I might not. I'm just going to crack on with this here. Eh? I'll come back after. Down there in the valley, the quad bike with shepherds or um, valley stuff. Looking out, looking for some egg. They've got big torches on. We're up here before, but they never saw me. Black, still windy. There's nothing to see. Can't put my light on because of them. I don't want to give the game away. But I'm still down there searching for something. Oh, I'm getting back in. Get back in. Well, that was exciting. Um, I think they were just out looking for rabbits or something whatever just fleeing about in the hills but they've gone now um so yeah i'm just gonna relax <laughs> emma says that they probably would have just chatted to us you know what i mean they work for the same people emma does so that yeah, should have been all right i just name drop but this is uh the situation in here Just nothing really. Drank a few of them beers. I'm just gonna shut everything down now. Um, I'll go out and have a check of the guy lines. One last check, and then I'll get my head down. Get up early in the morning for work. That's it. Remember to do your litter pick on the way down if there's anything like. There might not be. But if there is, I'll get it. All right. So we'll say good night and we'll see you the very next day. The very next day. All night. This has been going. This wind has just never stopped. Not even, not even for one second has it let up. It's just constant. It hasn't stopped since I got here. I'm sick to death of this. Like, I'm gonna say this could be my last windy camp. Not because of the equipment, not because getting soft, getting old. It's just, I'm just fed up with this. Absolutely fed up with this. 
all you do is fight the weather. And listen to that man. I haven't brought my earplugs either, so that's not happening. That's stupid this. All night. It hasn't stopped for one minute. Uh, I'm getting hardly any sleep here. To be fair, the tent is standing firm like. That's gotta be 35, 40 mile an hour gusts coming through. Just pushing this bit in here. Oh god. Oh, somebody make it stop. It may think it's not bad, right? But it's just constant, so it's just blowing this in. It's not gusting, it's not flapping, it's just constant, pushing this in. Really, there's nothing to stop it. Yeah, the guy lanes are all right. Pool hasn't snapped. It's just a unfortunate wind position. Woo. being I'm on that side sleeping <laughs> Let's see that after I've been out there in that that wind's completely stopped now that's the first time since I came out that the winds died off but it'll come back it'll be back to be fair to this tent right it hasn't the poles have stood firm it's just bent in here just pushed in there but nothing's broke the oh. hubs are still fine um, they're fine there's no bends there's no rips there's no, uh, Done all right, like considering it's took a right hammering. But I'm going to take this opportunity now to try and get some sleep because I'm sure that wind will come back. Like for now, it's stopped. Unbelievable, unbelievable weather out here. Achievements is not for the faint-hearted. Like it's not for beginners. Achievements, put it that way. It just comes and goes. She's like the wind. She's like the wind. That's it. I've lost it. I've cracked up. <laughs> morning. This is the morning. The next day. This is what I've woke up to. The wind died off overnight. Just dropped shortly after I made that bit video just absolutely stopped for a good couple of hours so I got some kip it's come back a bit now it's not like it was let's see oh, I could maybe do with it's soaking the tent you could maybe do with a guy out lying on there one on the other side I mean it survived the poles haven't bent or snapped or anything Fly sheet's intact. It's all right. This hub system's all right. See, these only these are the poles that can break. They're not taking any of the strain. It's just that top cross pole there, which is flexing. So it's actually not bad. That top pole flexes, you see, with the wind, and then it's just the tent deforms. It's not going to break. That's actually quite good. Aye, right, well. 
going to get packed away and then I'm going to get off this hill hill of hell didn't sleep well with all the wind like only managed a couple of hours but yeah I'm going to get myself down so I'm going to go back up over there and down the way I came because I think there's a bit of a drop off here you can't really get down there you probably can't like Ooh, that's a nice view isn't it Worst pitch in the world of doom, of terror, of doom. Ah, man. I'm glad to be packed away. Sun's away. Clouds arriving. TV always has a cloud on. It just seems to stick to them hills. <laughs> Everywhere else is clear. Look at the surrounding area. Right, so I'm going to go up this hill here and back. Um, do a look on, do a come back on myself the way I went yesterday, really. And then I'm going to work. I'm going to do a full day's work after like two hours kip. Nice. It's not recommended, like. But that tent was great. No poles bent. No damage. Just them panels coming in, but you know they were just bouncing straight back out. You know, when the wind dropped, it just took its shape back. It was really good. Quite impressed. But, um, I think maybe we're getting close to its limit there. That was about 35, 40 in the middle of the night. And then, inexplicably, like I said, it just vanished. Weird. I seized the opportunity and got some sleep. <laughs> and it never really, never really came back as bad. Right, so yeah, over the back here and down into that valley and back down there. Whew. So, not sure when I'm out again. Don't know what I'm doing this weekend. Maybe out in the van. I don't know, I just don't know. Don't plan that far ahead. <clears throat> it's the best way. And if you die, your plans aren't ruined because you didn't have any. So I'm going to leave you with the view over these crags and some words of wisdom from Dolly Parton. And there are. Look at that man. This would have been a better flat bit there. But it was on the wrong side for the wind. Right, the words of wisdom are if you don't know me by now, then you'll never, never, never know me. Dolly Parton.